Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we continue our journey through this Easter season, as we think about the growth of the First Church, and how we too are part of that journey, growing in the knowledge of Jesus, and through him, our Heavenly Father. To begin our Mass today, let us call to mind our sins, and ask for the grace of forgiveness. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had escaped during the persecution that happened because of Stephen travelled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, but they usually proclaimed the message only to Jews. Some of them, however, who came from Cyprus and Cyrene, went to Antioch where they started preaching to the Greeks, proclaiming the good news of the Lord Jesus to them as well. The Lord helped them and a great number believed and were converted to the Lord. The church in Jerusalem heard about this, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. There he could see for himself that God had given grace, and this pleased him, and he urged them all to remain faithful to the Lord with heartfelt devotion, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith, and a large number of people were won over to the Lord. Barnabas then left for Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. As things turned out, they were to live together in that church a whole year, instructing a large number of people. It was at Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The, gospel, the, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Babylon and Egypt I will count amongst those who know me. Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children. And Zion shall be called Mother, for all shall be her children. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, these are her children. And while they dance, they will sing, in you all find their home. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
It was the time when the Feast of Dedication was being celebrated in Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus was in the temple walking up and down in the portico of Solomon. The Jews gathered round him and said, How much longer are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus replied, I have told you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name are my witness, but you do not believe, because you are no sheep of mine. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life. They will never be lost, and no one will ever steal them from me. The Father who gave them to me is greater than anyone, and no one can steal from the Father. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles marks an important moment in the journey of the early church. As the reading itself told us, up until this point, the message of Jesus and his resurrection tends to have just been delivered to the Jewish faithful. Remember, he, as he says in the Gospel, is the promised Messiah, the one who has come to God's people. And so the message of salvation is announced first to the chosen people of Israel. But today in the first reading, we see things opening up. We hear about the Gospel being proclaimed to Greeks. That's a word which just generally means non-Jews. So this is outside the synagogue. It's outside the promises of the Old Testament. And this is going to be a matter of some controversy in the first days of the church. But that's why today's reading is so positive. We hear about how Barnabas is sent from Jerusalem, which is at that point the centre of the church, into to Antioch in order to check out what's going on. And it could well be that Barnabas, when he gets there, shuts the whole thing down, says, no, nope, not allowed to do this. The gospel is only to be proclaimed to the people of Israel. Forget these Greeks. No, we're not doing that. We're not opening up to anyone. But quite the opposite. Barnabas is pleased at the grace God is giving. He urges everyone to remain faithful to the Lord. He is a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. So Barnabas, Barnabas' acceptance of this new thing in the church is itself a vehicle of evangelization. Because of Barnabas's goodness, we hear a large number of people were won over to the Lord. The church must not be exclusive. We are not a private club. Our doors, as St. Fran Pope Francis keeps telling us, must always be open. We must always be going out to the world, to the world that does not believe, to the world that dismisses us. And perhaps the memory of Barnabas's apostolic visit from Jerusalem to Antioch can be an inspiration for us, always to be thinking about how we are opening, not the physical doors of the church, especially not at the moment, but those spiritual doors, so that anyone who wishes to receive the message of Jesus may hear it and may believe. Let's think of our prayers for Mass today. And first, hearing the example of the early church, let us pray for that mission of openness and evangelisation. That each one of us, in whatever way we can, may always hold the door open to those who wish to find Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are searching for meaning and purpose those who are seeking God, that they may find him and believe in him and rejoice in him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for a moment in silence, let us think of our own prayers and intentions.
all-powerful Father, hear us, and grant us the same faith and grace that the early church possessed, so that we, in our present age, may continue to proclaim the resurrection of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. In 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Regina Cheri, let our re, Alleluia. Qui ha, quem meruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.